I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey Williamsfield, are you ready for the BHB? Because we're going up. On a Tuesday? Stay with us for inside stories, contests, sports, and more. Hey Williamsfield, I'm Raina Steffen. And I'm Troy Jansen. Please excuse my appearance. I haven't been sleeping well lately. Guys, it's Spirit Week. Today is Twin Tuesday to dress up like your BFF. Next is Workout Wednesday, so wear your yoga pants and headbands. Wear your favorite team colors for Jersey Thursday. Stuart and Jake are back, this time with a look at our brand new comic book club. Take a look. Williamsfield has added a new opportunity to gather and do what you love through the comic book club. What we want to do is just have people read whatever comics they want to be able to read and then have fun with their friends just doing that kind of stuff. I like comics because there's comics for everybody. There's one for the superhero fan, there's one for the more mature dark fan, and there's ones for the funny comedy lover. Here I'm able to read comic books and manga or whatever we bring here and I can actually have fun while doing it. At some point we'll be able to actually have discussions about the comic books themselves and read them all together or just separately different comic books and if we all read a certain comic book we could have a discussion about that comic book. That sounds really fun personally. Comic Book Club is a new club that meets on Thursdays from 2.15 to 3.10. Actually achieving this is um, not that hard. We just started with a few papers filling out and now we're here having our own club and having fun. My favorite comic book series would have to be the Deadpool series because it's, it's amazing. It's, it's hilarious. I can't, I can't not read it. My favorite comic book series is just Teen Titans. Their comics I just like the most. Also, my favorite graphic novel is V for Vendetta. Um, that graphic novel is probably the best out there. If you are interested in joining the comic book club, meet in room 402 on Thursdays after school. This has been Stuart Delaney and Jake Bailey for the Black Hawk Buzz. Now back to the studio with Troy and Raina. The following scholarships are due soon. Be sure to stay on top of them. Dorrance, February 17th. Joaquin Basta, February 26th. NIAAA Student Athlete, February 28th. This Friday at 6 o'clock on the football field is the Powder Puff game. And you can wear pink to support the juniors or black to support your seniors. Be sure to make it. Devin and Jacob went downtown this week. Here's what they found. Downtown Gilbert is an uprising center of attraction, primarily known as one of the most well-preserved historic districts in Maricopa County, but is now under a major reprise with new businesses coming away. Dubbed the Gilbert Town Food Court by some frequent goers of the Strip, downtown Gilbert is dominated street to street by many restaurants, giving anyone visiting a grip of choices to dine on. One restaurant in particular, Liberty Market, will easily grab the attention of anyone heading south down the Strip. We caught up with Julie Townsend, one of the managers of the market, to get an insight about it. So um, obviously this is the Liberty Market, named after the grocery store that was here since 1938. We are open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So we're open at 7 a.m. until 9 p.m. Monday through Thursday. Saturday and Sunday we're open until 10. And in the beginning, we were open a little bit later, but that was eight years ago, 2008. We've been here as a restaurant 
eight years. So 2008, we opened up in October and found that um, we, there was definitely a market down here. There's people starting to move here. It's gonna boom, you know, and you're starting to see that already in the last couple of years. Across the street, Postino has been three or four other items before it's been this wine bar that's kind of lasted. Um, the taco shop, we've got more coming in with the bar across the street, sushi bar coming in down there, ice cream place. Um, my favorite part of running a restaurant in Gilbert, definitely the people. It's a little bit different demographic in Gilbert and um, I certainly enjoy it over other places that I've worked, let's say the Scottsdale or Chandler areas. Um, Gilbert's a little bit different, it's more family oriented. You certainly get a feel of people wanting to be somewhere. They want to take their time and spend money on good food, good service. So we appreciate that and we like to give back. In restatement, Liberty Market can be found parallel to the Gilbert Water Tower and is open seven days a week, seven to nine p.m. I would say my favorite item on the menu would be anything out of the dessert pastry case. Um, but yeah, it's definitely been a wild ride and I've only been here for a year in March. Next time you're down there, be sure to take in all the history while around. This has been Jacob and Devin. Now back to the studio. O oh, desperate seas, long want to roam, thy hyacinth hair, thy classic face, thy naiad air that brought me home, to the glory that was Greece, and the grandeur that was Rome. Oh, hello there. You've just caught me on the lighter side. You see, I do enjoy a spot of poetry from time to time. And what an opportune time for literary art this is, with Valentine's Day just having passed. So we here at the BHB implore you to send in your very own poetry. It can be about this fine season of love or something far more mysterious. Now, this is an extension of our original contest, so we'd like to have your works due back to us in a week's time. Send everything in to the email below, and we'll see you next week for some riveting poetry. Aaron has something quite touching for you this week. Check it out. Diagnosed with autism when he was three years old, the autism has been playing like a big role uh, on Daniel's education. Daniel Toledo is a freshman here at Williamsfield High School who overcomes adversity that comes with what makes him stand out. They told me at the beginning when he got diagnosed that he wasn't going to be able to um, be like independent. They told me that he was going to be on his little own world, uh, not able to communicate, not able to uh, express his feelings or do things that all the kids do because of, of the autism. On a day-to-day -day basis, Daniel challenges himself to succeed in schoolwork regardless of obstacles. For this school, when I'm in, it's kind of, kind of hard, but, but I'm trying to get in use of it, like a little easy, a little hard, and it all depends on me. What I do not like about school is about not getting good grades and it makes me feel unhappy. I think Daniel is doing pretty good at school. I think he's been able to manage that. So he's not afraid of going to school. And if he's not afraid, uh, I'm not afraid either. Daniel's ability to triumph through all the pessimistic presumptions has been a true inspiration. At the beginning, I was very concerned about him transitioning from middle school and going to high school. He's very independent. He's a smart boy. He's loving. He's, he cares about people. Daniel and his mother, Irma, have a few words of motivation to share. It's what they got to believe on. You got to believe anything. Believe that you can do all the hard work. Just being different doesn't mean that you cannot succeed in life. And um, I'm very proud of him. This is Aaron Tucker, now back to the studio. And now a few words from the BHB Network. Want to be a part of the most memorable sporting moments in Williams Field history? The new BHB Network is looking for someone who knows sports and wants to be a commentator. There's the pass to Leitner. Puts it up. Yes! Let's it go. Oh my God! Oh my goodness! 
Let's it go. He's got three people down there. The ball's up in the air. Caught. Touchdown. Florida, center field. The Diamondbacks are world champion. Oh, he has trouble with the snap. And the ball is free. It's picked up by Michigan State. Jalen Watts Jackson. And he scores on the last play of the game. Unbelievable. Be a part of this fast-paced environment. Stop by room 303 and talk to Mr. Karcher. EF Tours is holding a parent meeting for the trip to Italy, Spain, France, and Monaco for Spring Break 2017. If you are interested in going, please make sure you attend on February 17th at 4 p.m. in room 225. Now to the sports reporters for this week's recap. Good morning, Blackhawks. Winter sports have come to a close, and in their place, the spring season is set to tee off. But first, we have a few games to recap from a few weeks ago. Boys basketball was unable to defeat Higley and took a 46-54 loss away from home. However, they were able to take down Willow Canyon the following day here at home. They concluded their season with an overall record of 14-12. Senior Wyatt Lowell led the team in several different ways this season, averaging a double-double a game while still shooting 48% from the floor. Girls basketball final week performance was a near opposite to the boys as they took down rival Higley but fell to Willow Canyon. Sophomore Lacey Jenkins starred in both of the games with over 20 points in each. Baseball and softball start their seasons in early March, but in preparation for their season, BHB Sports scouted Williamsfield's baseball team's tryouts and were able to ask first year coach, Coach Clifford, a few questions about this season. This week on Game Days, BHB Sports was able to get a word from Williamsfield's head baseball coach, Coach Clifford. Uh, the kids are motivated, they're excited, uh, uh, anticipating the season, working hard, and we're hopefully be able to compete and, and win ba baseball games this year. Coach Clifford felt strongly that baseball was deserving of some of the spotlight that other sports get here at Williamsfield. Baseball is always limited as far as its crowd or attendance, and I don't know why. I don't know why people really want to go and watch football over baseball, but there's people who like to do that. But uh, we can promise you, you come out uh, baseball. You know that you're going to see our kids work hard, compete. They're always tougher than the football players. Uh, we know that. It's a proven fact. Coach Campbell can say whatever he wants, but we know that baseball is really where the tough athletes are. And so you come out, you're going to actually see players play hard and get after it. Coach Clifford stressed that for the team to be successful this season, they need to be able to dominate any team on the mound. Well, you'd always like their strengths to be pitching. We'd like to know that we could be competitive on the hill, control the strike zone, and be able to get people out. Good pitching will go ahead and dominate good hitting. Uh, they, they always have the advantage, not only just with the pitching, but the fact that there's nine fielders that they have to go ahead and compete against also. So, uh, you know, you can go ahead and dominate and make up for a lot of weaknesses that perhaps you have on the offensive side with a good defense and really particularly a good pitcher. That concludes this week's episode of Game Days. Now back to the studio. That's all for this week's Sports Report, Williamsfield. We'll take you back now to your hosts, Troy and Reyna. Hope you all enjoyed the show. What's wrong with your face anyways? That's a wrap. Are you ready? Ooh, I know you see me standing here. Do I look good, my dear? Do I look good today? Yeah.